Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to clone and do a hard drive upgrade on a MacBook Pro. This will work on any MacBook with a removable hard drive, also on a Mac Mini. But for today, we're going to show you how to remove the drive out of a MacBook Pro. So the first thing you're going to do after you get the cover off is you're going to remove these two screws on one side that holds a little black bracket. And by removing that, we'll be able to remove the hard drive. There's also two screws on the other side. Sometimes those need to be removed. We're gonna go ahead and remove them now because it just makes it easier. And then we can go ahead and lift the hard drive out. Now you need to be very careful when you take the hard drive out. You see this ribbon cable, it is very delicate. Also, when you remove the hard drive, I like to kind of pinch it on, you can see I'm going, I'm working it side to side. Yeah, so I don't damage that cable in any way. Okay, so we're all set there. Now we can go ahead and get working on the hard drive. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these little pins uh, that hold it in place in the MacBook Pro. And we're gonna go ahead and put this drive in a removable uh, enclosure here. These are really cheap, you can find them on Amazon. Now in my case, I'm gonna use one of these enclosures uh, and then I have a data cable that I'm gonna use on the other hard drive. Now, if you do not have a data cable, I recommend getting two of these external 2.5 inch enclosures. Also, it is possible to clone the drive while it is in the, in the computer, if it's a working computer. But for our uh, purposes today, we are gonna be cloning it on a separate computer. So here's our new hard drive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set this hard drive up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the pins in that were on the other drive and get it all ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on now. And once we get that all set up, we're gonna go ahead and get this drive ready for cloning. Okay, so there's our uh, original drive all ready to go. There's our new drive and there's the data cable. And next, we're gonna go ahead and download. My favorite software is uh, Carbon Copy Cloner. And I do recommend you purchase the software. Um, you can test it for 30 days, but I do recommend you purchase it. So go ahead and download that on your computer. And once you get that set up, we'll head to the next step. Okay, so our next step is to plug both drives into the donor computer. And then once you do that, you're gonna open up the software. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna select the source. And our source is gonna be that 120 gigabyte hard drive that we plugged in. So that'll be our source drive. And then our destination drive, the new drive, is gonna be the 480 gigabyte SanDisk drive. So once you do that, then you're gonna go ahead and press on clone, and then you're gonna wait for the process to complete. Now, if you only had one computer, and this was a working computer, you can install the Carbon Copy software on that computer, and you can select the source drive as the internal drive on your computer and back up uh, uh, or clone your drive that way. And that's the way you could do it. So that's another way of doing this if you only have one computer and you don't have another computer to do it. So now we're all set, everything is done. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna eject the drives and then install the new hard drive back in the MacBook Pro. And simply it's just the reverse process as you can see here, really simple. You're gonna go ahead and lean uh, those pins in on an angle there and then drop it in place. And then you're gonna put that black bar in. Then go ahead and put the cover back on. And then once the cover is secure, you're gonna go ahead and put the screws back on. And be aware there are some longer screws that attach towards the back uh, on the top where the air vent is, where the black air vent is. So make sure you put those longer screws in as you can see here. Uh, so if you mix them up, you will notice which ones go where. And once you get all those screws back in, go ahead and boot up the machine. And you're done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.